ग्रीटिंग्स ऑफ द डे आई गीता जैन साइंस टीचर ऑफ क्लास सिक्स वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आर के सी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस हियर आई एम विथ पार्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर टू कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड इन पार्ट वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न वॉट इज फूड नीड ऑफ फूड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फूड एनर्जी गिविंग फूड सच एज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड फेट्स देयर सोर्सेस फंक्शंस एंड टेस्ट ऑफ फैट एंड स्टार्च इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग अबाउट प्रोटीन्स अवर बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ बिलियंस ऑफ सेल्स अवर बॉडी नीड्स प्रोटीन्स फॉर दिस सेल्स वेन यू वर्क प्ले रन वट हैपन्स your muscle starts contracting and expanding and in that case what happens cells get damaged you need protein to repair them you probably would have heard from your parents to include protein in your diet right now it's your age to grow when you are growing your body needs to be built continuously and that exactly why you need protein in very large amount proteins are compounds which are essential part of living organisms we have already learned 1 gram of carbohydrate provides 4 calorie of energy 1 gram of fats provides us 9 calorie of energy in the same manner One gram of protein provides us with four calorie of energy. Structure of our body is made up of protein. So when you look at entire body structure of human being, not only human body, we should talk about different organisms as well. Proteins make a major part of our body. They not only help in development, growth. and tissue repair of our body they also form a part of the structure of our body inside our body we have enzymes hormones platelets and all of this play an important role what are hormones they are nothing but proteins and they send and receive messages from different parts of the body what are enzymes again they are nothing but proteins and helps in various functions inside the body what are platelets platelets are again protein and helps in blood clotting so the various chemicals which secrete inside our body playing an important role for our body some of the food items which contain proteins are the food such as pulses peas beans soya beans and groundnuts are good sources of plant proteins the foods like milk cheese fish meat chicken eggs are the main sources of animal proteins test for protein how exactly do we test whether a particular food item has protein or not let's look at the test for protein for this what do we need we need certain chemicals caustic soda which is known as sodium hydroxide solution you can see in the figure the transparent solution we also need copper sulfate see the figure the blue color solution this is copper sulfate copper sulfate actually is an inorganic salt means it does not contain carbon in it now how do we test take a test tube and put grinded paste of pulses or milk in it and add some water to it so you will get as a 
semi liquid now what do we do we add two drops of copper sulfate solution to the test tube with the help of a dropper see the figure b now around 10 drops of sodium hydroxide caustic soda is and shake it very well so that everything get mixed up after that leave it for some time what do you observe if you observe the violet color inside the test tube it confirms the test for proteins stay home stay safe and keep learning